Hello, welcome to Monica Refront's Caravan Cooking Series. You find me leaning against the very impressive Bailey Unicorn Barcelona. Now, I don't speak Spanish, but no matter. Today we're going Greek. It's the spinach and feta phyllo wrap, if you will. Hello. So today I'm going to show you how to make a phyllo parcel and I'm using spinach and feta and bacon. Um, it's lovely because there's such a nice space here. I can spread out so I can prepare things really well. Um, I've decided not to use this, um, but it's really nice to have the option because I can use this space. So it's lovely. So I'm going to get going. Um, first thing I'm going to do is wash the spinach. Just make sure it all gets a nice little shower. And that sits there. And then I'm going to turn the hob on. on nicely, heat up some oil, great, see, I can do it myself, right, get the oil nice and hot, and in fact for the shoot today I um, pre-cooked the bacon but it's just simply um, just um, normal breakfast bacon cut up nice and small and made nice and crispy. So wait for the oil to get nice and hot and tip in the bacon. You'll be cooking your bacon from raw so it'll just take a little bit longer but you just want the bacon kind of well done really because you want it to have like an almost like a little crunch to it. You can hear it starting to sizzle. I'm going to add my spinach and what you do, the water that you use to wash the spinach in, that's what you use to cook the spinach and it's really just wilting it because you want it to still have some flavour, you don't want it to be cooked so the life is completely cooked out of it. So I'm going to push all of that in there now. And we'll just watch it wilt. In this jar is some very, very finely chopped, I used a blender, um, walnut, but you won't have a blender necessarily in your caravan. Um, and that really, really doesn't matter because it doesn't need to be as finely chopped as, th as this. I just did it for ease, but just some nice finely chopped walnuts go in there. In goes the feta. And you can see the spinach has nicely wilted. So I'm going to take it off the heat now. And I'm just going to pop it here. And now I'm going to show you how to make the samosa parcel. And it's really simple, really neat, and it's great for stuffing. You can, you can put anything. You could do a nice um, fruit, um, some pureed fruit. You can do what you like. It gives you lovely options, and it's so simple to do. And it's a lovely way of packing something that you want to maybe 
pack for a little picnic. So you put your little your mixture and I've just painted around the sides. I'm taking two sheets of phyllo pastry. I'm folding one third up and I'm folding, taking two sheets, one third down. Then I want to flatten that out and from this side I want to fold over and then I pick it up and hopefully I have made, yes, a nice little samosa triangle. I'm going to paint it with a little bit more oil just to get it to stick. Might squish it in a bit. There we go. And paint it again here. So there we go. We've got a nice parcel that's pretty secure. I don't think the mixture is going to come out of that. And I'm going to put that onto my baking tray. Just do a second one so that you really get the idea. It took me ages to work out how to do this. And in the end, I had to resort to YouTube. Again, I'm just going to show you one more time. So you take two sheets, you fold one third up and one third down. You seal that end as much as you can. You lift and fold. Turn it over and create your triangle. This one doesn't seem to be quite as neat as the last one, but I can patch it up with olive oil. Olive oil works like a glue, hopefully. <laughs> there we go, yes. And I think what I shall do is pop that there. I'm going to just paint it with a tiny bit more just so that it sticks and pop that in the oven just until it's nice and golden brown. Thank you.